In this simulation of a diver jumping from a high cliff, we learn about the relationship between position, velocity, and acceleration when an object falls under the influence of gravity. As an added challenge, we can consider the effects of air resistance on the diver. To start with though, let's assume there is no air resistance and the diver falls as if he is in a vacuum. This turns out to be a fairly realistic assumption, as we will see. Let's first look at the position of the diver after a jump from the highest point. From the right-hand graph, you can see that the diver starts at a height of 40 meters and reaches the surface of the water roughly three seconds later. If we pull this slider along the graph, we can see the position of the diver change as he accelerates towards the ground. The positions of the diver indicated here by ghost images form a motion map. Each ghost image is separated by the same amount of time. If you look carefully, you can see that the space between each of these ghost images increases from one moment to the next. This means the diver is covering more distance in a given amount of time as his dive progresses. This means the velocity of the diver is increasing with time. Such an increase with velocity over time is known as an acceleration. Another way to say this is, we know the diver is accelerating because the distance he travels in a given amount of time is changing from one moment in time to the next. We can look at this another way. In the left-hand graph, we have a plot of the velocity of the diver versus time. The velocity starts at zero. The diver is essentially falling from rest. Over time, the velocity becomes more and more negative. The negative sign just means the direction of motion is downward. Notice that the velocity graph forms a straight line. If you calculate the slope of this line, you'll find that it changes by 10 meters per second every second. We write this as 10 meters per second squared. This is roughly the acceleration caused by gravity in free fall. We say the acceleration is negative 10 meters per second squared because the acceleration is in the downward direction. Unlike the velocity graph, the position graph is curved. At each point along the position graph, we can imagine what the slope of the graph looks like. We can imagine even drawing in a tangent line to that graph. The slope of this tangent line will equal the velocity of the diver at that point. So, for instance, at the start, the tangent line is flat, with slope zero and the velocity is also zero. Later, at around two seconds, the slope of the tangent line is around negative 20 meters per second. Summarizing these ideas, we say that the slope of the position graph at each point represents the diver's velocity, and the slope of the velocity graph at each point represents the diver's acceleration. So far, the acceleration has been constant. We see a straight line for the velocity graph and a simple curve for the position. But let's see what happens if we add air resistance. Let's use the settings on the graph to enable us to compare two jumps, one after another. When air resistance is included, the graphs look slightly different. That they aren't greatly different gives us some confidence that the assumption that air resistance is a minor effect is a good assumption. Still, the graphs differ. Air resistance generates an upward acceleration. Another way of looking at this is that it decreases the overall acceleration of the diver. However, the amount of this acceleration depends on the diver's speed. When the diver is moving quickly, collisions with air molecules cause the diver to feel an upward force, and hence an upward acceleration, compared to if there are no collisions. The faster the motion, the stronger the effect. So, we see that the acceleration of the diver decreases as the diver moves more quickly. We can tell the acceleration decreases because the slope of the velocity graph is flatter with time. Eventually, if you fall long enough, the velocity graph will level out. This is known as terminal velocity, something important for people who jump from planes with parachutes. This is a subject for later study.